It's a birthday boy. Yeah. Go on then. And I remember the first day we come home, we were just giving him some space. <laughs> My dad picked up a broom to sweep something up and Ted just bolted into another room and hid in a corner and wouldn't come out. Come on, Ted, wee-wees. Come on. Off you get. When we brought him home, I didn't know when he'd last eaten. He was so thin. We put just a little bit of food down for him in the garden. And every time he would take a bite, he would then rush back behind him. It was like he was frightened to eat. It broke my heart. I'd seen a lot of the abuse happen firsthand, so I knew exactly what he'd been through. Ted moved into the flat opposite me when he was about six months old. And I had some concerns from the starts about his original owners. I was hearing Ted sometimes squealing. We had a little spy hole in the door and I looked through one day and I saw his previous owner actually kick him through the door. And he was always chained up in the hallway for several hours at a time. I didn't know what to do. I was genuinely intimidated by the people that owned him. They were really scary. The RSPCA did get called by a different neighbour at the time. But they were sort of like, oh, you know, it's fine. It's probably a false accusation or something. Eventually I got to a point where I wrote them a letter saying, I know that this is getting out of hand now. If you don't want him, I'll take him. Ted. Oh my God. When we brought him back, he was terrified. I took him to the vets the next morning after taking him home. And he had a severe mite infection. He was socially withdrawn. He would lay down and shake, but I've always just treated him with patience and kindness and understanding. <laughs> so we've worked really hard on his socialisation. <laughs> Would learn to sort of interact with dogs. And that is really like when his confidence started to come on. The zoomies that he do, we call him Tornado Ted because you're going to get swept up in it. He's so funny, he's so interactive, he's so playful. Drop it! He just has a different light in his eyes, a different energy. So I just started to realise this is him healing. He's on a puppuccino! Oh my goodness! <laughs> the bond that we have is just amazing. All he has ever wanted is to be loved. And I don't think I could love him more. Time to watch more.